Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the sixth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about lists and tuples and uh, a list in Python is a hybrid data type and what we mean by that is that list can contain items of different data types, right? So a list can have a string in it, a character in it, a number, a whole number, a fractional number, a complex number, right? So, you know, if you have uh, different values belonging to different data types and you want to put all of them together, then, you know, you have to create a list. And a list in Python is similar to an array in C or C++. But the difference is that whereas in C or C++, if you have an array, then all the elements of the array have to be of the same data type. So if you are working with an array of characters, then all elements have to be characters. If you're working with an array of numbers, then all elements have to be numbers. Whereas in list, as I said, it's a hybrid data type, so you can have different kinds of values in it, right? So the way we create a list in Python is by using square brackets. So I'll just create one and I'll call my list, my list and I'll uh, use the assignment operator or the equal to symbol to create the list and then I'll get in a pair of square brackets and then within the square brackets I'll specify the elements. So let's say I want to have uh, a word and of course if you're you know using single character values then you know you have to use single quotes and you know you can you can you have to use quotes with the strings as well and uh, I have another element I'll uh, call this one two and then I'll have another element I'll call this one uh, three so three string values and then maybe I'll have some numbers too so whole number four and uh, then uh, another uh, number but this time a fractional number 5.0 and then let's also throw in a complex number so six plus two uh, j right and I'll press the enter key and my list is created to see the content of this list I can use the print function and I can also just type in the name of the list which is my list so when I do that I see all the elements of the list and uh, you know as I said we can also use a print function so within parentheses I'll just type in the name of the list my list and when I press the enter key again I see the elements right so what if you just want to see the first element in the list and you know the way the indices are assigned to the several elements in the list you know that is the same as it is with strings so the first element gets the index 0 the second one gets the index 1 and so on and so forth so if you just want to see the first element you type in the name of the list within square brackets the index position which is 0 and there you go you see the first element is 1 and if you want to see all the elements in the list starting from the second element so the index position of that is uh, one and then you put a colon and since we want to see all the elements till the end we don't have to specify the number of elements and I simply press the enter key so there you go we see two three four five point zero oh, and six plus two j and not the first element which is one right and if you want to repeat the contents of your list several times, let's say if I want to repeat the contents of the list uh, thrice and display on screen, I'll type in my list and then the asterisk symbol and then the number of times I want to repeat the contents. So if I want to repeat by three, I'll type in three, press the enter key and there you go. I get a new list in which all the elements are repeated thrice. So you get list elements once and then again and then again. Right now, let's create another list, and uh, I'll call this one new list, and uh, I'll use the assignment operator in square brackets, and I'll give it value seven, comma, the word uh, eight, and then uh, I'll give it the value nine point zero, right? And uh, if suppose I want to create a list that has the values from both the lists, my list and new list, and I'll have to use the addition symbol or the uh, you know operator that we used to concatenate string values in the last tutorial right so if i just want to display the result on screen i'll type in my list then the addition symbol and then the name of the second list new list and there you go i get a new list in which i have the elements from the first list my list and then elements from the second list right and uh, another important thing that you need to know about lists now is that you can update lists so let's say in the second list new list i want to update the first element which is seven to the word seven instead of the number seven right so i can do that all i have to do is type in the name of my list within square brackets the index position of the element that you want to update so i want to update the first element so the index position of that is zero the assignment operator and then the new value so i want to give it the value seven 
and uh, now if I see the contents of the new list I see the word 7 instead of the number 7 right so this is possible with lists and uh, now let's talk a little about tuples and uh, tuples are also sequence data types and are similar to lists but have two important points of difference in comparison with lists and the first one is a syntactical difference and that is that tuples are created using parentheses and not square brackets and uh, the second one is that tuples cannot be updated so let me just uh, create a tuple and show you guys uh, how it works so I'll call it my tuple and I'll use the assignment operator and as I said we'll have to use parentheses and not square brackets so I'll get in a pair and then uh, you know I'll have some values in it like a word which is a string and then uh, you know another string but I'll call this a number and then I'll finally have a number and uh, when I press the enter key the tuple is created I can see the values in it and uh, if you see that you know when I display the contents of a tuple the elements are you know enclosed within parentheses whereas when you display the contents of a list the elements are enclosed within square brackets so you know uh, that way you can know what is a tuple and what is a list and uh, you can obviously use the print function to display the contents and I'm not going to show you guys that and uh, if you want to see the first element in your tuple then obviously you have to use square brackets type in the index position of it which will be zero same uh, you know labeling rules work here the first element gets index zero second one gets one so on and so forth and uh, if you want to see the contents second element onwards again then square brackets type in the index position of the second element and then a colon press the enter key you just get a number in 10 the first element is not displayed if you want to repeat contents you know, same thing put in the asterisk symbol number of times so if you want to repeat by four there you go you get a new tuple with the values repeated four times and uh, lastly if you try to update the contents of a tuple so if I try to change uh, the value of uh, the first element or the second element let's say from a number to an actual number so the index of the second element will be one I'll use the assignment operator and this is what we did in the case of list like a couple of minutes ago and if I try to store the value 55 in it I'll get a trace back and it tells me that tuple object does not support item assignment right so that's an error and that means that tuples cannot be updated so that's it for now thank you so much for watching this tutorial I'll see you in the next one in which we we'll discuss uh, dictionaries and um, you know, I hope you guys are having fun and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Take care.